Hey everyone, it's Emily here. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Today I am gonna be taking you to Walmart and we're gonna do some Christmas shopping and I have a huge Christmas haul to share with you and I know what you're thinking. Girl, it's only October, what are you doing? I am doing you a favor, I am sharing these items with you now because they're gonna fly off the shelves in the next few weeks. Last year, everything was pretty much sold out in the beginning part of November. It was crazy. So I'm here to share with you some of my favorite pieces that I've seen at Walmart so far. They're gonna to continue to unload more and more. So keep that in mind as far as what color schemes and things like that and direction you wanna go for decorating your home for Christmas this year. I already have my ideas in my head, so I'm scanning everything. I promise you, I'm gonna be taking you to more stores than just Walmart. We're going to be covering them all and I'm going to be sharing the good and the bad with you and everything so that you can find the best decor for your budget and everything. So I'm really excited. They have some beautiful, beautiful pieces and I think you are going to be really blown away by it so far this year. So with that, I hope you enjoy it. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends so they don't miss out and everything. And you know what? If you're not into Christmas shopping yet, you don't have to be. You do it at your own pace. I am not trying to rush you whatsoever. If you're looking for more fall videos and inspiration, they're in the description box below along with all the links that you'll see that I share with you in today's video underneath the show more part and everything. So, or you can check out my blog and the like to know it. Everything is linked there as well for you. So with that, let's go into Walmart and let me show you some of my favorite things I have found so far this year. So I decided as I was filming this, I would break it up into different colors for you. So that way, if you're looking for a specific one, it'll all be in one area. I hope that's helpful for you and everything, but I love the holiday time collection that Walmart brought out for Christmas. It is so good this year. This tree is actually very pretty. You just need to fluff it down to hide the green putting green there. <laughs> that bothers me. But other than that, it's a beautiful tree. These be, are really nice and they're dainty. They're not super flashy, which I do like. They're very different than anything I've seen them carry before. And I absolutely love the gold. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to see what other color packs of ornaments that they're going to have. I like that they have ribbon for all the different color schemes that you want to do. They have the mercury glass ornaments and then they have these are plastic, but these are huge. They're like six inches or so. They are fantastic. So if you need some bigger ones, which I'm a fan of mixing small and big on a tree, definitely the way to go. And this wreath, it's so good. Wait till you see this. Oh my goodness. It is awesome. And they have matching garland. Yes. So they had mini trees as well. They were kind of blocked. So I will hopefully get a better view of those in the coming weeks for you, but really good price and size.
They have a couple similar items like they did last year, but this sign is really large. It was $25, same as this picture, which is 24 by 36 in size. They had more, but they were all covered up, so it was the only one showing. Again, I will share more with you over the coming weeks as they unload it. This wreath was a great size, and it's a really pretty... So this collection is definitely very unique. I really like them. Um, they have more coming out as you can see here. I'm really excited to see those in person, but I feel like they did a very good job with everything. I am actually looking for a nice manger set. So they have ones that you can put your own in and kind of do a little bit of a DIY with it or you can buy one that's already done. I'm looking for very specific ones. I'll let you know when I find that but I really liked all of the options that they had so far. We Again, we are just at the tip of the iceberg for Christmas decor. We are jumping in and we have so much more to cover and I'm really excited to share that all with you soon. So far, there's about two aisles of Christmas decor, but I love that they have such a good variation that no matter if you're going for a woodsy theme or a super glam theme for Christmas, they have you covered. So I really like that. But these signs are really good size. You don't even have to DIY them anymore. And these are more that are coming out really, really pretty. And of course, the pillows have just started. I'm sure they'll get more. And the stockings have just started being laid out. These are a really good price and they're a good size as well. So now I'm going to show you a couple of the tree options. They haven't set up any trees in my store yet to physically see them in person, but they have all different sizes for you. And these ones I used in the entryway last year, love those. They have them in a couple different sizes as well. And then this one's always good. That's like a good Michael stoop. And then these trees I use on the front porch and these have gone up in price, but they are so beautiful. They are fantastic, very realistic looking. Really highly recommend those. All right, some of the items might still only be online, but I'll have links for them and everything. I've got so many goodies to share with you. I don't know if I have a favorite because um, there's just too many to count, but let's start with the wreath first. This one is so realistic looking. It's got the three different types of greenery in it. So it's got the fir, it's got the cedar, and then it's got the, um, the regular one as a filler. It's so realistic looking. We have tons of fir and cedar and pines around us. And this, the greenery color, looks exactly like the trees outside my house, okay? So, excellent option. It is soft, it's not um, really bristly or like, you know, that hard, hard plastic. They did a fantastic job. And one of the reasons why it's so full is they double layered it, which I think is great. And it's a 24 inch and it's a great size. Um, or if you wanna put it in windows or something, it is so beautiful. The one I used last year on the front porch is like one of my favorites. This one outdoes it by two times. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And the best part is that um, they brought it out with a garland too. So this garland is great. It is wired obviously but you can fluff it and it's just full looking. Last year on the mantle, I used 
I think this is the new version of what I used last year because I didn't see that at the store yet. Maybe it'll come out. I don't know if I can find last year's and link it, I will, but you can kind of see the comparison. This one is a lot fuller than last year. Last year I had to use two. Um, this one you could still use two, but this one has a softer, sear um, branch on it than the uh, one I used last year. This is a great, it's $20, so obviously we're seeing a little bit of inflation with the pricing. They did a good job on it. This is really, really nice. And I will be sharing other garlands with you from other stores, so keep that in mind. But this is a great affordable option, and I think they did a great job. This one's a good size. I think this one is only 20 inch though, so it's a little bit smaller. This one's similar to the A floral one, not quite the same greenery type. Um, you can tell it's a dupe, obviously. Um, but um, this, I think, needs to be redone. We This can look better. It's still using Walmart um, ribbon and stuff, but it's just all mushed and everything. But this one, I know you can find this one online for you. It's a good size, um, but if you want to compare the size to them and the coloring, there you go. So both really good options. There's this one, and then I found this one right here. And they're really pretty. You can make your own wreaths with these if you want, but this is like mistletoe. Give me a kiss, you know? Um, let's see. Other ones that I found. Now, the picks. These picks are great. I'm gonna show you um, something with those when I'm done showing you with everything. But these were $1.28 a piece. I don't know why these were more expensive than the other ones, and the other ones are bigger. Maybe I misread the tag, but um, yeah, <laughs> not sure. But these are really soft and subtle. And then you just have the regular berries. These you might be able to find at Dollar Tree in a bigger bundle for a dollar, uh, was it 25 or something? So I keep that in mind, um, but sometimes the berries are all different sizing, but these gold trees are stunning. They did a great job with the ribbing on here and everything. This just screams Pottery Barn to me, but yeah. You can buy these individually or you can buy them as a set. Um, in store, they're sold individually, but online I found them individual or as a set. So depending if you want, um, how gorgeous. I mean, come on. Oh, I'm loving these. These would not only be good like up on your mantle, on a console table, shelving, but your tablescape for Christmas. You know why? They're pretty slender, they're sturdy, and they would just be beautiful, but they're not so massive where you can't see the person across from you from the table. So these have a really nice function to them. You can use these all over the place and they're just well made. I'm so happy with these. I saw them and I was like, wow. I first saw them online because I've been looking online like, I said, like what's the preview coming out and stuff? And I was like, ooh, are those gonna be just as good in person? They're better in person. Oh my goodness, stunning. It's the snowflake and it has a stand. Again, this would be great on a tablescape as well. There's two sizes. I thought I bought both sizes. I did not, I only bought the one. But this one is really pretty. And on the back, it has all the crystals except for the middle one. So if you wanted to glue one on, you totally could. This one is gorgeous though. Very dainty. It's not um, like glittery type um, where it feels like, whoa, this is very elegant and timeless. Um, and I feel like it could go with any style that you're going for for the year. So this was a good option. <sighs> the boys had to have this tree um, partially because it uh, sings. A little bit of glitter on the sides. Um, it maybe comes off a little bit if you rub it, but it's really pretty. Um, it is ceramic. And then it has the switch on the bottom in case you don't want them to drain the battery completely. Sorry, I'm looking at the floor, making sure I'm covering everything that I got. Now, speaking of garlands, they brought out a lot of the garlands that they had last year, um, which they did a really good job on. I actually have the one Christmas garland over here in the bowl. Um, this is a smaller version of it. So they brought out this and they have the natural wood ones like you saw, and then they had the um, just the regular black one here for you. Um, really, really nice. I like decorating with black for Christmas and a lot of people are like, eh, no, it's very classy looking. Um, it's, in my opinion, as if it's done as an accent, it's very, very classy looking. I really like that. So something I did see though, they do have a black Christmas tree. So if you are into Halloween and you need a tree, there you go, they have it for you. Was the bells. It's a really nice, um, the six feet 
they're really pretty and I feel like this could go pretty much all directions. I haven't decided what I'm doing exactly for the front porch yet. Everything else I figured out, but the front porch, I'm like, ooh, do I wanna do frosted or do I wanna do green? Next is a set of three trees. They're really cute. They are definitely a pencil style. So this one is three, then it goes four, and then this one is five feet. They come in these little buckets here, and then the bigger ones are a two-piece, and this one just pops right out. I can't do it one-handed. Um, the only thing that I would say is a little inconsistent is the frosting on them. They're not frosted enough for me. So the only thing I would do is um, maybe buy a can and spray some more on because the picture online makes them look way more frosted than this batch is. Maybe this was just a bad batch. I was talking to a lot of you on Instagram about it and a lot of you said, oh, I love it. Mine are way frosted than yours. So. I think it just depends. Like I wanted them more to be like this and some of them just don't have a ton on them. But I think these are a great option. They're nice and skinny and I think they're super, super cute. I'm gonna take some of the items that I got and I wanna show you how I would style them or lay some ideas on things that you could do with it. Um, just to kind of get your, you know, the balls rolling here and give you some ideas and things like that. So. Let's start doing a little bit of decorating. Another thing I got in the hall that I forgot to show you while sitting on the floor are these beautiful ornaments. This is a huge pack, but they're not the itsy bitsy ornaments. These are really nice size. So happy with this. These are the colors that I wanted to do last year with the green. This green is such a hard green to find that looks really nice. They have it. And I love the copper color, hint, hint of the colors I'm doing. Um, yeah, I was so excited about this. So they got the bigger ones on the outside and they have smaller ones on the inside. These are great and I love the different textures. They've got the shiny and the matte. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, the direction I'm going in this year is gonna be a little bit different and I am, I'm really excited. We're actually gonna work with this. I'm not getting rid of my fall decor yet. I'm loving my fall decor and it feels like fall outside. It is fall all over trees have changed and everything, but um, it's gonna stay for a few more weeks, but I wanna show you some ideas. We're gonna lay around some pieces, so just ignore the side of the fall, okay? Get some ideas for fall and Christmas at the same time. Start off with, if you have a mirror or something, the wreath on the mirror is really, really pretty. It is very timeless looking. I know it's hard to see all of that with all the fall sitting here with it. Um, so it's just really pretty. This wreath, is a really nice, um, I would say dupe to the one I used last year in the entryway from Hobby Lobby. That one is gorgeous. It's much thicker than this one, um, a little bit bigger, but this is half the price. So keep that in mind. Um, I like both, okay? Um, both are gorgeous and I will still use the one I got from Hobby Lobby last year because it's stunning and I have it. But I wanna just tell you if, if, if you, can't get the other one if you don't have a lo Hobby Lobby local to you. This one is a great option as well. Um, but what I was thinking originally was for this wreath, since it doesn't have the full loop on it, like I was telling you, I was thinking it would be really neat on top of like a mirror. And I guess you could leave it like that, but I, let me get the garland the a floral garland it's gorgeous okay look at that beautiful greenery color oh okay and it drapes really really well and you can all the branches have wire in them so you can bend them the direction that you want but let's just say if this is up here which I would have to get some um, command hooks and things like that and put that up okay so let's say this is gonna drape down further on this side and this side and then if you have this up on top of it, that could be really, really pretty. So I think that's gonna stick. Let me go get one more. If it falls, well, it falls. <laughs> okay, just work with me. I know this is kind of hard because I don't have everything hooked up, but I'm just trying to get your, the balls rolling in your mind for ideas, okay? So if you have something like this 
on your on your mirror or if you want to just have it cascading down like more on the side this would be so pretty like i haven't even fluffed this yet but you could add different picks in and things like that it could be really really pretty so that was just something that i thought like when i saw the the gold piece i was like ooh, that could be really really pretty and you know so i wanted to show that to you um actually let me show you the difference between the um the A floral wreath and the Walmart one really quick. Okay, so this is the A floral one. This is the Walmart one. Okay, so here's the different greenery on there. So you can see that. Okay, you see the color difference? This one is very natural looking. I haven't even fluffed this one yet. This is how it came out of the, the box that it came in. So um, size is similar, but this one just has a nice droopiness to it. So. Just depends on what you want. I want to show you both. Everybody's style is a little bit different, so go with whatever you know fits the budget and your style and have fun with it. I have just started now investing in nicer pieces um, like a year, maybe two years ago, and just slowly adding them in. I know not everybody's gonna go out and buy you know everything all at once. I totally get that. I just add to my collection each year and then I have really like changed the way my decorating style has been over the last few years. And now that I've kind of honed in on what I really, really like, I'm spending a little bit more and getting like, like some of the more investment pieces that I know that I'll use for a while um, that aren't gonna go out of style or anything. So think about that when you're buying the decor, think about those staples that are just gonna be classic all the time and then buy some of your filler decor for the way that maybe you want to change the colors for each season and things like that there's really no right or wrong way of doing it. you do whatever is your heart's content and whatever makes you happy do what best is best for you but this one is really pretty so um yeah all right now i want to show you what the wreath would look like with a couple different picks in it if we dress it up a little bit like the one the wreath that just calls your name and everything invest in that wreath and then if you wanna switch it up each year, buy some picks. I would suggest for a 24 inch wreath, buying at least six picks that are around six or eight inches a piece. If they're a little bit smaller than that, I'd probably buy eight then. But you can kind of see how um, just adding the white ones in look. And then if I were to add the white with the pine cones and the pine needles in, you can kind of see like the difference. Now, obviously the tags are gonna come off, so ignore that part, okay? But just so you can kind of see um, the difference, and if you did all white, or if you did like a frosted tip with the white, how different that looks, it's really pretty. Um, and you can also, you don't have to do a ton of picks, you could do, I would suggest three picks, where you put um, the picks in, like kind of all in the same area, okay? And you can, and then you put like a bow here or an ornament or something, I think that would be really, really pretty. So you can spruce up a basic wreath every year with different colors just by adding in little picks. So keep that in mind when you are decorating. Um, invest in one really nice piece and then buy the filler um, that you can change out each year that only costs you a few bucks. Well, that wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed coming shopping with me at Walmart for Christmas decor and seeing everything that I found and then kind of seeing some ideas of things that you can do with some of the decor and things. My job here is to just inspire you and give you lots of ideas on ways you can decorate your home and spruce it up and make it feel fun and festive for the holidays. And I hope that you are excited for upcoming videos. If there's any specific store or something that you want me to cover any specific like decorating thing please let me know down in the comments so that i can start prepping for that and get that into upcoming videos for you all um but yeah i'm excited the next one's going to be amazon and whoa there are some good items to share with you and also some really bad ones so you are gonna see the good and the bad like i told you so i hope you guys were excited for that and everything but yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. Give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I am so excited for all the Christmas decor and stuff. Oh, it just makes my heart so happy. Oh, I love it. Anyways, okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.